Thank you. My name is Julie Thomas. I'm the officer in charge of the Northern District. I'm about to um, inform you about an incident that happened last night at uh, Parafield Gardens. It is a matter that is before the court and still under investigation. So I will be a little bit limited in the information that I can give you. So just after 10 p.m. yesterday, police were called to a disturbance in Chester Street at Parafield Gardens. At various stages of this incident, uh, other people became involved. And uh, when police arrived, a man was found collapsed and he has sadly subsequently um, died, which is very tragic for his family. Another man, believed to be the suspect in the assault um, of the deceased, is currently in hospital receiving treatment. The investigation will be conducted by Northern CIB with the assistance of Major Crime. And at this time, the gentleman in hospital, the suspect in this matter, will be charged with manslaughter. The, as I said, the evidentiary matters are still before the court, or will be before the court, and the matter is still under investigation. Any witnesses or anyone with any information, could they please phone Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. We've heard from neighbours that potentially um, the accused victim, um, the accused girlfriend had fled uh, the home and ran to, uh, to get... Um, Sorry, so to seek refuge from the victim's home. Is that true? Was she fleeing a domestic violence incident? What I can tell you is the initial incident involved um, the accused and another person. Um, there are charges that will arise from that. And the gentleman who has deceased um, was involved in terms of um, being a third party to the incident. Were any weapons involved? I uh, can't comment on that. It's subject to the investigation at the moment. So do you know any circumstances leading up to the death, whether there was yelling or fighting or trying to break up an argument? Um, I understand there were several parties involved in terms of breaking up the disturbance and uh, that is still subject to the investigation. We're still putting that together. It's quite complex at the moment. Was that other person or woman taken to hospital as well? As uh, not to my knowledge, no. Is that woman assisting police? Uh, I can't comment on that at the moment. I don't have that information. Was the police been called to that address previously? Uh, not to my knowledge. Was the victim acting as a good Samaritan in this situation? Uh, all I can tell you is that the victim was not known, they were not known to one another and uh, he's been um, involved in the disturbance as a result of the argument between the other two. What is the accused man in hospital? Is he being treated for injuries? He has non-life-threatening injuries. Were they self-inflicted? How were they caused? Uh, that is still a matter for investigation. Alright, thanks everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Julie.